today we're going to talk about just this one little board book. I guess you can get it not in a board book. We've, we've got the board book. It's called Caps for Sale. We bought it because my husband really loves it. And it's by S. Fur Slobodkina. I think she must be Russian or something. And it was written in 1938. And it was kind of a play on Monkey See, Monkey Do. And it's about this man um, that has these caps that he sell, sells, and he keeps them on his head as he walks around town and sells his caps. So do you like this one, Camille? What caps? Why do you like this one? What caps? It has monkeys, and uh, I really like monkeys, they're nice. Well, what uh -huh. caps? I like the green teeth and the... <laughs> you like this one where all the, this page has all the monkeys with all the caps on it? Yeah. What's your question, Seth? What are caps? Hats. It's another word for hats, remember? Because we've read this one a few times, but not a lot of times. I've never heard this one. Oh, I guess I just read it to Camilla, not you. So this, um, you know, there weren't a lot of you know, children's books for really young children. There are a lot of uh, fairy tales and that kind of thing. And uh, so this is an early one that was written just for young children and has been around. I didn't know about it until recently, but the kids really love reading about it. He doesn't, he's not able to sell any caps that day, so he goes out and he falls asleep against a tree with all of his caps on his head, and when he wakes up, they're all gone. Huh? Mm -hmm. And he doesn't know where they are, and he's looking and looking, and then he sees that the monkeys have all the caps on their heads, and he tells the monkeys to give them back, and they don't want to, huh? Yeah. But then in the end, he does get his caps back, and he goes back to sell his caps. So, caps for sale. Really cute one. We recommend you get it and read it with your young children. They'll love it, huh? No. Do they love it? Yeah.